To get started, I'll open the Cloud Shell, then create a resource group where our VM will live. You can create Azure VMs by using the portal or open up a Cloud Shell or terminal on your local computer and use the Azure CLI tools or even PowerShell. Hi, I'm Dean Bryan, Cloud Advocate here at Microsoft. In 2014, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said Microsoft loves Linux and the ease and speed of setting up Linux machines on Azure is proof of that. Whenever I personally need to do some work on a Linux machine, I just spin up a virtual machine in Azure, it takes a couple of minutes, and before you know it, I'm logging onto my Red Hat, Ubuntu, or a custom image Linux machine just within a few clicks or CLI commands. So bring your Linux workloads over to Azure. We're asking for Azure Resource Manager, or ARM, to provide us with the latest version of Ubuntu long-term support available on Azure. To make sure we're asking for the right image, we can run the following command to see what's available. Cool, let's build the VM. Let's take a look at the command we'll invoke. Once I hit enter, this will tell Azure Resource Manager that you'd like to create a new virtual machine within the resource group Funbyte with the VM name Funbyte VM Linux. Your server will use the Ubuntu LTS image, create a sudo enabled admin user named Ubuntu, and will generate SSH keys that will be stored in the cloud shell. In only a few moments, the Azure Resource Manager will respond with all the information you need, including your VM's public and private IP addresses. Now I should be able to SSH into the public IP and view my new Linux VM. Now that I'm SSH'd in, I'm ready to start using my new virtual machine. If you'd like to learn more about this, or if you'd like $200 of free credit of Azure, just check out this link. I'll see you next time for Azure Fun Bites.